Thank you for being a true bronze.
All right, let's get this show on the road. Got a nod, if you're still there. Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. Oh, jeez, so loud. Woofed. Hey, Blob Van Dam, how you doing? It's good to see you. It's alive. Not my green screen, though. Hey, Kayla, how you doing? Good to see you all. Let me shimmy this thing. Let's see if I can get that right. There we go. All good. How are you guys doing? My head is a bit cough, but that's just the way we've got things set up right now. So, um, I had a thought about something that I would like to work, but I don't think currently does. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to change that. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna chuck us to good old random ISO. So, what I want to do <clears throat> is be able to talk to the gnome. Right, still got the testerine on there. So, right, that, that'll be a pretty good one to test. So basically, what I want to do is I want to add multiple uh, options to the dialog, and then just run them based on top to bottom which ones are available so that's not very well explained but it'll become clear dialogue let's twine it's really good time to remind myself of how the conditional work basically that's me okay so here, so we don't have Testerino here, but basically I think, so the conditional is in the middle, I'm pretty sure about that. So we'll say text to display, element life, return variable to check is true. So that would be, I um, can't remember what that variable is called, off by hand, by something like player element selected or something. Player active element, yeah. Player active element is equal to one, and then takes us to gnome grass two. Doesn't matter where it goes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add another one. We're just gonna call the element mind. Can these ever be true together? No. So, well, well, well. Tartarino. Bolt spell. This camera angle it is weird, isn't it? I don't like it. It is really weird because I'm looking down. I don't like that. It was better when I was like looking up, like at the middle of the screen, or that way is the middle of the screen. But yeah, uh, player active spell then is two. I don't like change. Me neither. Um, I, it was needed for my back, I think, but hopefully I can get a better setup. Uh, I don't know how would that work. It would have to, yeah. So basically, have a more permanent way of fixing the camera, which would be relative to the screen, I guess. I'm not really sure. Lift the screen up. Screen it is like eye level, I can't lift up anymore. And yeah, I am standing. Find the genome. 
understanding. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's pretty tough, but I just I just can't get it right um, sitting. So. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's, that's that's a good use of that one. Uh, all right, graphics guys asking what next? Uh, do I have anything for him? That's a good question. What next? Done those, of course. Mm -mm. Next, pressure's on. Uh, what do I want to work on? Nothing specific there, I guess. <laughs> yeah, definitely doing the top breath. Um. I'm gonna write to him. Good question. Because I don't actually know. Uh, oh, yeah. Actually, this is the random one for him, but. Want to see what I just turned out in the last two hours? Hell yeah, I do. thing I guess but the quest screen menu has only temporary graphics Kayla thank you very much for the bits I really appreciate that let's see if Altabrage is running he is he got hyped thank you very much Kayla that's an awesome movie So, uh, proper background. I think I cut this one together using another screen. So, the character portraits are placeholder. I had to pixel this shit out of my face and mirror it on the x axis to make it not look like me. Oh! <laughs> I can totally see the resemblance though, that is so badass. Oh man, that's giving me... That's giving me the jitters though, like, I think... Um, that's a thing I'm missing with Fates of War, is that it's not that heavy on RPG. Like, you don't have, uh, like, really strong character design um, possibilities. So that's kind of missing, I think. That's something I'm tempted to do in a future one is where like you just kind of you really design your I want like to, I want to make a world where you properly design your character and there are like okay. the main thing is I want different builds to be viable so I want you to be able to like sneak your way through the game or brute force your way through the game or whatever so is that UUI no it's not but yeah that's just the the screen with the attributes and stuff has given me. Gives me the fuzzies. So what happens here? So when we're on... Uh, bugs out, okay. Properly bugs out. I don't know man, I think you can weigh games down sometimes though, like your game has so much variety in spells, I think a character stat menu would weigh it down, but I might be wrong. Right, so when I say I'm, I'm missing it, I, I don't necessarily mean it would fit in Fates of Work, because it wouldn't. So, uh, what I mean is, I would like to make a game where that's a good thing. Like this thing is completely turn-based, so I want the RNG in there. 
Yeah, I see what you mean. Did they release the legendary scores? I think not yet, but I don't actually know. Let me check. Oh, I don't think quite yet. It's oh, it's like today slash tomorrow though. Results in ten hours, so I'll be asleep soon. But yeah, like, I think if Fate Support was a big project, then something like that's going to be humongous. I need to, I need to check myself. Slow down. So where does the error first come in here? Conditional four player element equal to one. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Absolutely. So seductive. If you fail a project, always go bigger, never smaller. Hmm. There are times where that's true. I don't know if, they, if you actually mean that, but I, there's times where that's true and times where that's not true. Check thyself before thy wreck thyself. You went old school. Um, I don't understand why that's not working. Fail upwards. What if I was trying to launch a rocket? Man, that project I mentioned earlier, I actually decided to wait it out on it, but I'm still writing so much for it. Yeah, really, that's cool. It did sound really awesome. Error mit. Dad, we're coming out of the wall, Seduction, I think this is too early. It is. Wobbling Trout and Raiders. This is usually a very scary raid, so I'm going to defend. <laughs> Welcome, Mr. Trout. How was your stream? And how are you doing? What am I working on anyway? I'm trying to uh, adjust the dialogue system a little bit. So I've added the functionality to um, have dialogue options that are conditional, but I want to make it so that I can have multiple ones and then it just kind of shows you the ones that um actually passed the test and hides the other ones so stream was good i am awesome nice you are and i'm glad you know this that's wobbly trout's blurb right there follow his channel check out his game on steam <clears throat> so i expected this not to work but um I'm not sure why it's not working. So four right num options. So what we want to do is for self num options. Wait, well. Set text and then we want mm. no. So we do need to modify this. Basically, currently this is looping through just four of the options. I want to loop through, so while there are options, left loop, does that occur anywhere else? I don't think so. Four is also, where? Highlight selected options. Other options. Oh, okay. I see. So self num options is a table of all the dialog params. No, it's not a table, it's just a uh, it's a number. So why why am I magic numbering it? Because it should have just been whatever that is. 
because um, <clears throat> this what this is doing is it's going through so this isn't going through the options <clears throat> and this is going through the the slots yeah basically setting the GUI to disabled it's been a while since I've been in the stream what we've been working on in the last couple of weeks uh, is that is that true? I've been away for a week, that's for sure. Um, but I thought you've been here. Maybe there were some uh, streams you missed, actually, if I, if I remember right. Um, so I've added Soul Planes. Uh, can I remember this? Soul Planes. Which is pretty cool. I wonder if that was the right name. I'm not sure. Yeah, so I've added this bit, which you made the music for, actually, which I think is really cool. It's got it's got this thing where you're supposed to get lost, so you can just keep running through this. This just loops on itself endlessly, uh, unless you have a thing that allows you to pass it. My sleep schedule shifted and I was asleep by the time you got on for a bit. <laughs> yep, uh, I, I, I knew that was the case. Um, proved this bit a lot, which is like, this is so cool now. Basically, this is what it looks like when the portal's inactive. You just walk around, nothing happens. Can't remember, remember the music, I made it too sexy, it was really good. Um, and then when you use the portal, Describes what happens, the priest yells at you for being a heretic, and then it's so cool. <laughs> I love that part. That part's awesome, yeah. And what did I do before that? I think I finished the court system before that. Uh, or was it just the court? Um, show menu, I'll show you what I've done. <clears throat> Archive Labyrinth. So I finished the labyrinth. Oh, yeah. Um, Yeah, so I wrapped up the labyrinth and the court basically. So that, none of that is going to look particularly new, but it's like it's really cool because the court is essentially finished. So that's three, the three paths to the master plotline solution, and they're all implemented. Obviously, I have to still work on the things leading up to that, but the fact that, that whole quest is finished, uh, like or the ending anyway, that's really cool. I mean, it's, it, it lacks a bit of dialogue with the master because I'm leaving. I'm leaving those for later because they're like the most important dialogues. I want to really be into the swing of things. Let me do that. <clears throat> right. So oh yeah, the artist said something to me that didn't respond. I don't think. Maybe add your sketches, some additional maps for like grasslands, some other you have time, some sort of special content. Since there's a lot of combat maps, you can move fresh airs, batting more unused existing groups and spoil your revenue increases. Mainly additional challenge will be provided with floor holes that enemies come out of. But we'll to see how that works during beta testing. Um, same thing for additional maps. There are some I am thinking of already for the grasslands. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so So if that's just a so this is when the highlight selected options and hover options and that is K 
Sure. So I think what we do here is set set options. Set this to zero. And then here, so we do that. And then if that is not nil, then n n is option local current node. Hey, Gel Mega, how are you doing? Set node options. So instead of using I here for that one, that's it. We'll just do a uh, node. Current node is equal to current node plus one. If current node is first generator equals to five, then return or break, not return. Good, slowly progressing with my own programming language, currently at a difficult part, implementing templates. You're making your own programming language. That sounds insane uh, and scary. So let's see how that goes. Bugged out. Attempting conditional, so it's the same error basically. Uh, attempting conditional four, which is that, seems straightforward enough. 303, attempt to call local conditional, which is a nil value. 303, conditional is. There. Attempt to call conditional which is a null value. So if option if option conditional is not nil and conditional one is not true, which it isn't, and it's not nil. Own machine code if you mean does it compile to machine code? Yes. I don't even know what that means. So download HUD attempting conditional for player XM is equal to one. Hey Nimai, it's good to see you. Um, this is, what is this specific one? It's a mini medley, but I'll, I'll paste you the link of the actual YouTube video.
<laughs> well, code, not sure, not sure I exactly you mean. That's pretty much my what my response would be. <laughs> At best. How's that nil? It's right there. I guess the load string is messing up. Does that mean I've forgotten how to do this properly? No worries, Nimoy. <clears throat> Okay, I had to reload my VPN made it that I was 30 seconds behind. Yikes. Um nil. I guess that will output nil as well. I just don't understand. Nil string play acted on equal to one equal to the expected near. What? Um I thought I had this, that's really annoying. I should have saved an, an example that worked. That's really confusing. Text display one divider turn variable to check true. And then the next node and then two closers. Yeah, that looks good to me. So what is the problem? Um, doubt it, but give it a pop. So it is the load string that's messing up currently, like that doesn't mean that the other stuff I added in works. I think it's just we're stumbling on something before that. Yeah, that doesn't work either. So equals is expected in here. It doesn't have to be in a string, does it? No, so that is a string. Player active spell is equal to two. It's really annoying because that I know the only way I know where that is because I didn't save anything is um, in the actual like YouTube video for from the last stream I did I guess which I think is on YouTube but I don't, don't want to have to sift through that um, what if what if we just change this to true it's the fact that it's a number or an int but i'm sure it, i tested it with the mind and life spell so something has gone wrong and i'm not sure what it is yeah so see that's still not working so
<clears throat> so this looks to be right, I think. Does that preprint at the end or something? Did we get that information? Well, we have it here. So we have three trues and a string conditional here. We have the options. So currently, when we only get sent four of them, that's fine. And then it loops through them, it gets to number four where the conditional is. We'll call it the conditional. It prints the conditional. And then we load string it. So it's the load string that's the problem. It errors out for some reason. Can I Dropbox this? We'll store it in Dropbox somehow. Is it in Dropbox? Is it not? It's not in Dropbox, is it? Damn it. <laughs> uh, let's look. Was the 14? 14 was the Tuesday. That was the last day I did this, yeah. So it wasn't then 14th. It's a Friday, wasn't it? It's the 10th, I think. So here, let me just snip this. I'm beautiful, got my eyes closed. I assume this one works. All right, Mr. Tart, see you soon. Um, when you're back, blah, 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 blah. Testerino, return proactive. Oh, return, god damn it. That was so silly of me. It was in the instructions as well, I just missed it. For eggs sake, that was a waste of time. <laughs> right, let's just do the direct thing here because that's wrong now, so god damn it. That's what happens, kids. So now I'm open. Um, we should get the top spell, I think. Element life. That's only available. Oh, that's still bugging out, right? No. Well, it's not working. Um, oh, is it because? Yeah, no way. Actually, so we we've, we've never actually set the number of options. Current node. num options is equal to
We just current node minus one, so we don't need current node, basically. Well, that will, uh, we'll see that when we run this through because it's the fourth one that's in danger, basically. So, uh, otherwise, if it's if the fifth one's getting counted, then that will cause problems as well. Do, do, do. Okay, so that worked. Now. Store the number of options processed above for selection loops. Okay, so that's done. And then what we need to do is we so we get this from show dialog self self dialog param. So the dialog controller, when I guess it gets it gets a request on parse dialog file, we run for the number of passage links. Num is decoded passages. So that should work through the whole thing. So we should have all five there. Um, which I think It does show, yeah. So we have all five there, but I guess they just don't get sent. Trigger dialog. No, they do get sent. The dialog GUI, when it receives them, print message, dialog params, and then show dialog. Okay. Welcome back, Tart. <clears throat> Pause the game. Overall hmm. text, node options one through four. Oh, okay, so this I guess kind of looks like it's working. Kayla, double thank you. That is really awesome of you. Thank you very much for the bits, Kayla. That's 300 in a day. Bitgoal is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you very much. And to celebrate, this is going to work. Fingers crossed. It's going to work. It's going to work. So, we jump through here. So, it's now currently giving me the life element because that's true and then the shift away from the life element so that's not true anymore but neither is the bolt one so then i'm getting three options now switch to the bolt spell nailed it nailed it that one's dedicated to you kayla first list crossing of the week that's really cool Remember to begin with return for the conditional portion. You can stack multiple conditionals. They will show up in in the order that they are listed. Stack multiple conditions beyond the four total limit. Okay, that's cool. Good notes now. I added a relationship menu for your party members and one of the things it says if the dwarf ca character hates you is he thinks you're an arsehole. <laughs> I like it. It's uh, it's good, uh, good flavor, good flavor. But this is so. This is like something totally different, isn't? Isn't it, Tart? Like, is this just like a mock-up kind of thing? Because this isn't the thing you messaged me about earlier. Oh my, my face! I I can make it. I can make it do things it shouldn't be able to do. 
that's what I'd see. Sorry, that's cool. Now I'm gonna move on to the underworld. Totally different, yeah. Um, I mean, it's giving me good vibes, but I'm like, but is this just like to practice the kind of the gooey stuff, or what's the what's the thinking? Stinking. Right, so underworld maps, we need to start by placing them where they are. I think he's kind of done a good job. By the way, these maps that you're about to see are friggin' gorgeous. They are amazing. He did such a good job. So I'm excited. I think it's the 28th. Yeah. I'm just going to take these. All of these. To be honest, I just wanted to make a proper RPG dungeon crawler, but yeah, it's definitely helping me get better at dealing with inventories and UIs. Which is a, it's an important skill, for sure. It can be a pain in the butt. It's 28, I don't even know where that goes. Did we label that already? Don't know. So we'll leave that to the last. I think 2801, the, the zero ones are thing. I think uh, I know where exactly where they go. Zero one. UI has always been my least favorite thing to work on for sure, yeah. It's a drag, but it's really important to get right. This would be zero two. And this would be zero three. Yep. And then twenty eight two. I don't know where that is. Gates. Twenty eight three. That's the king, right? Yeah. He's a king, 24 will be. It's got, yeah, so I think it's that one. If I was going to do that other project, though, if I had it written in that it would all be world space UI, so ammo written on the now they did on the gun, heartbeat written on your arm that you could check, etc. That's cool. So is that, do you envision that to be like a 3D game, a first person thing or? So did I write down, no I didn't, 284 is this one, which I think is there. Oh yeah, 3D for sure. Cool. 28.5 is this one. I'm gonna edit that a little bit myself. 28.6 will be probably the start, maybe. It's got an exit there and otherwise nothing. Yeah. Which I would guess mean that 28 nothing. It's got exits everywhere but right. Hello there, what is the uppings? The uppings are good, how are you doing, Java? It's good to see ya. Alright, so that's all of them. Gameplay-wise, I've found something like Mirror's Edge mixed with mechanics of immersive sims like System Shock, Thief, and Deus Ex. Yeah, you're right, it's pretty, uh... It's pretty ambitious. Okay.
Bringer. <laughs> A Javasaurus like Java sounds like something that should be extinct. I'm just gonna go grab some popcorn. Okay, so that's them listed there. A gel mega, a gel. Sounds like someone jelly that I have a skill I can use in my thoughts. Surprisingly good. I didn't think it would be, but it was. That's good to hear, Water Retort. I'm glad you had random pain one day. Can I say that? I was mostly talking about Java. I think, Jell, I think uh, Java pretty much identifies with Java. Like, they're interchangeable, so... There's a cord that goes from your abdomen to that area, and it could have just been bruised or swollen or something. That sounds awful. That that can just happen. It's not the kind of cord strumming we'd like to see. Your ball cords hurt. Your ball cords swollen, water retard. It's just your thingamajig that got twisted in there. His 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 ball cord. I'm actually surprised at how restrained Java is about this shade being thrown at Java. I would expect way more of a response. Is it personal growth or is it because there's a bulk word to distract? A little bit of both, I think. Focus on the brevity of their code base and are realizing that readability of code is a preference over that brevity. I like code where it just reads like a book, what it does. Oh, yes, yes. <clears throat> System.out.println Hello world, semicolon. <laughs> I'm joking with you, Java. Don't bite my head off. I did just think that sounded funny. Okay, so I have the list of all these things. Let's check out. Is that Shakespeare? <laughs> That's funny. 
So did he start this off right? Did he start it off right? He kind of did, yeah. He kind of did. Who would have thunk? So all I need to do is just search and replace them for 28. Shakespeare is an interesting esoteric programming language. Even Hello World in Java is short compared to Hello World in Shakespeare. Really? I haven't heard of that, but of course, of course it exists. Why, why am I even surprised? Domain links, here's Hello World and Shakespeare. No way, and that produces Hello World. How? <laughs> Design goals. The end goal is to make a language with beautiful source code that resembles Shakespeare plays. There are no fancy data or control structures, just basic arithmetic and go-tos. You could say I've combined the expressiveness of basic with the user-friendliness of assembly language. It's absolutely mental. I love it. <laughs> That's so insane. Uh, so did I do all of them? I did, yes. So next up, let me do this. Um, so I think this is pretty neat. So what do we need to do? We need to basically get this, take this, oh, and then fix this. Is that it? It's kind of normal when that happens. We go to ground. I don't even think we need that. So you saw Game of Thrones last episode's opinion spoiler free. I mean, you can't really discuss it very much without spoiling. Um, I would say, in general, I didn't hate the season as much as everybody thought. Like, yeah, I thought it was a bit weaker than other seasons, but I, I didn't hate it. I kind of like the season, but it's very rushed, but that's logical. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I thought. I think that you could easily have dragged out of the season and maybe it would feel better. Well, it was very few episodes. 
Season 8 wasn't that bad, should have been longer, and too many people are whining since it doesn't follow the bracket back. Yeah, that's probably a pretty fair summary. Uh, I think it was weird because it was like season 7 and 8 were shorter than the other seasons. Every other season had 10 episodes, basically. But yeah, that's that's about as much as I want to discuss it because it winds me up that people spoil it. Like, man, does it make me annoyed? Because it means I have to force myself, like, even if I don't want to, I have to watch it immediately when it comes out. And like, before then, not go on any social media because people spoil it. I think it's stupid. <clears throat> That's cool as hell. Skulls. Anyway, so we're here. And you guys, I don't think, should be blockers. So not you guys either. Wispy. Not you guys either. Cinematography of the last episode was nice. Um, yeah, I think it was. I'm not an expert, so like I just have a vague feeling that it was good. A lot of plot points just got completely ignored, and then maybe rightfully so. People feel like stuff happened for no reason, so I'm not going to give examples. It said spoiler free. Yeah, appreciate that. Um, yeah, I, I can't really think of any plot points that were unresolved because I haven't really paid attention so much recently. I didn't re watch it all before this last season, like a lot of people did, so it wasn't really that fresh in my mind, if that makes sense. Yeah, no doubt. That one have water, I don't think it did. Yeah. And you also give me a bit of a feeling that they just set up some stuff for spin -ups. Huh. I didn't get that feeling one way or another, but you might be right. Welcome back, Mr. Tark. I'm also guessing if they had just had eight episodes instead of six, people would be a lot less annoyed. Why did they rush? I don't. I don't really know. Your friends from saying anything about Game of Thrones? Yeah. I saw you tweeting things about it. Are you standing up? Yes, I am. Spoilers, I was just shitting on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're shitting on the, the Winterfell battle scene. Which, like, uh, I don't, I, I definitely, yeah, it's definitely not Ticket uh, Chrissy the last season. No, he didn't, he doesn't, he hates the whole show. Well, he doesn't hate it, he just never got into it, basically. 
Uh, standing desks are great. Yeah, well, I'm just getting used to this is day two of trying it. I think it's pretty good, pretty good, but I still need to get used to it. I need to like have my setup done perfectly and stuff. So. Walked by and the scene was so dark. It, it was really dark. Um, probably a combination of budget restraints and trying to set a mood. I think they kind of failed on the mood setting part. It, I don't think I don't think it was as good as some people said it was. I don't think it was as bad as some people said it was. I definitely had, didn't have any problems seeing things. Watch the first season and didn't like it. That's well. I mean, if you watched the whole season and didn't like it, then yeah, it's definitely not for you. I think you should be hooked after. First season of too many titties flopping around this borderline awkward to watch. Oh yeah, yeah, I hate, I hate boobies. Also wieners. Hence the theme song. So this one's done, this one ain't done that on it. Quick Google search seems that season 8 cost around 90 million bucks. I don't even know what that is. I, I mean, like, if that's a lot or a little. Sound, I mean, it sounds like a lot to me, but yeah, probably is a lot. The amount of nudity was one thing that put me off. It seemed like they did it to, like, I don't know, get people hooked, or, oddly enough, or, like, interested, because it really just stopped uh, after a couple of seasons, didn't it? Like, just never came back. But it was a bit gratuitous. Uh, I guess you're ready, then. 90 million is quite cheap compared to an action movie. Uh, especially, and then if you compare, like, and realize that it's like, what's it, like seven, six hours or something? Because it's six episodes, so it's like two action movies in terms of length. Hey mom, wanna watch Game of Thrones? It's kind of cool fantasy show five minutes later. Oh my god, Shane. Well, why would you wouldn't watch with your mom? That's, that's your first problem. Rookie mistakes, son. You know, hyped for the Lord of the Rings show. I didn't know anything about it. Um, Cliff notes it for me. Cinder Crow's hesitant. Jabba thinks it's weird. I want it to be good, but I'm not sure it will be. Is this like kind of they're trying to capitalize on Game of Thrones, I guess, maybe? Oh no, Jell, I mean, I know how much money it is, I just don't know. Like, I don't know if you'd expect 9 million or 900 million. Like, I don't, I don't know, and I need like some comparisons to know whether it's a lot of money or not. I think it's a spin-off, same universe, but new characters. Okay. Like, then it might be good, well, I mean... It would be... That only means it's like a good theme. You could That could mean it's absolutely terrible or great, you know? Are they pulling from any of Tolkien's extended works? Actually, maybe we can go from 90 mil to 400 mil. So that's quite, quite low end then, for essentially two action movies worth of content. Although, obviously, there's a lot of Tolkien and stuff, which probably wasn't that expensive to make. Could be good or bad, I'm just excited to see a fantasy show other than Game of Thrones, yeah. Oh no, for sure. I mean, I'd, yeah, I, I just like that in general, so I'd, I'd definitely watch it. Give it a, ch a chance. Some of these things are pretty beastin'. For comparison, Endgame was about 356 million. Wow, okay, now, now now your number means something. That is like ridiculously cheap then, I think. Most of the novel movies hover around 300 million. Wow. <laughs> 
apart from Fox's Deadpool, which was 30 mil. Wow, that's really cheap. Don't know why I know this. Wait, do you just knew do you just knew that without looking up? Just the money they earned in the opening week in the US for Endgame, 357 million. So, that's, that's so precise. So they'll have made a lot of money there. That is how music's made. You just go da 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 da. Uh, Tart, when am I getting uh, the, the the test version of the Grasslands theme? Because I shat on it and then actually I've listened to it a couple of times and I really like it. <laughs> so I just wanted to see if you if you could. If you could make anything happen with the guitar, or if that was stupid. Where are those? Oh yeah. Thank you. The way you casually said I shout. <laughs> I didn't really, but I, I think I came off a bit rude. I didn't mean to be, but I think it came off like that. Um, just because I was so convinced that it sounded like Gerudo Valley, but then like you said it didn't, and Cat was just like, yeah, no. Okay. Well, you should give it a li listen. It's on. If you search Gerudo, you'll find it. Is that it? No. There you go. <laughs> to use a shit analogy, just shit the phone sometimes. <laughs> Well, you have a super quick uh, turnaround, which is crazy, but it's good. The soundtrack is so good, man. It's like a masterpiece. I'm so hyped for it. So yeah, like all I thought was maybe if the guitar was changed to some other instrument, I don't know if it can be, but if it could, then that would probably like completely get rid of whatever Gerudo thing I was feeling. And like, so probably people with any kind of musical sense wouldn't get that association, but like, if it's, if it's doofuses like me, we'd be like, oh, well, that sounds Spanish and it's fast paced, it's probably like a total rip off of Gear of Um, end game opening week worldwide, 1.2 billion currently in total, 2.6 billion. So that's, that's a crazy return on investments. Don't turn around too fast though, now that we know your insides can get twisted and tangled randomly. Humans are bags of meat and water and it's a wonder we walk around. <laughs> I love that description. No worries, water retard, thank you! Thank you! I'm pretty sure I'm also part fat, a big part. A very big part. Oh. 
big old peak here. Can't remember, are these all under collision? They are under collision layer. Don't know if I took them away from other ones. Can't help it if I have low hanging fruit. <laughs> see what you did there. I see it. I'm concerned I removed those fireplaces in the other maps, actually. Because they should be on the um, collision layer. That is not making me hungry for dinner. I'll make some squash creams. I'm glad you can joke about it, Tart. That means you're better. Just pretend there's something wet on your chair. I had a particular baiting dry spell a couple years back, but then one day I sat on a bag of dried fruit, so technically I did, I was on a date. I butchered that. That joke is much better than tweet form. Came up with it myself, I was so proud of myself. Yeah, it was a couple of years ago though, so... The saddest feel like... I think I actually was on a bit of a dry spell then. Joke's so awful, even the dead cringe. I, that's what I'm aiming for. What constitutes as a dating dry spell? <laughs> um, I can see, I was like... I think it was like nine months or something. You trying to assess whether you're on one. Speaking of dried up prunes and stuff. Do I want to know? Tomorrow's our fifth anniversary. Nice, nice. Of marriage. How much? How long did you go out for before that? This one probably won't have any scope for deletions. I think. Yeah, nice. But judging by your criteria, <laughs> I want a five-year dress spell. Nice. Fun times. Yeah, before he got married. 13 years minus 5, so 8. Wow. You do the maths, Jeremy. Man, I'm just quoting Peep Show. Isn't mathematics plural though? Mathematics. Can you have a singular mathematic? <laughs> I, did, I did a mathematic today. Kayla! I'm glad this uh, squashed nut chat isn't putting you off. Thank you very, very much. I don't know how many, how many give pluses can I do now? That's 
that will do five. Five hugs. Thank you very much for the bits once more. Leapt to the monthly top list. Ad limit reach. How many ads did you watch? I assume you're like in America, so you actually get some bits for your ads. I remember when they launched in the UK, I'd get like two bits per ad. So I was like, that's like barely worth it. But I just refused to pay for them. Anyway, thank you for putting yourself through that. I really appreciate that. Maybe you inspired me in the subconscious. Wait. Oh wait, okay, okay, okay. Keep it a secret. We have a name for our baby. Just realized you know the name very well. Maybe it's five millions of months in the order. So can we get this to us? Wait, are you gonna name it Top Brush? You're naming your baby Top Brush? One mathematics or two mathematics is not a thing. So mathematics cannot be poor. Is that really true? I feel like. Is that true? I feel like, uh, are there not things that are always plural, like, that don't have a singular? Um, happy to give, well, I'm happy to receive, don't quote me on that, because <laughs> that needs context. Um, but yeah, no, I really appreciate it. Like brains, yes, yeah, so well, you can have a, well, you could have a singular brain, I guess, but that's weird that you can have brains. Um, I think it's, I really just think it's a US or UK thing. Math or maths. Math and maths are equally acceptable abbreviations of mathematics. The only difference is that math is preferred in the US and Canada and maths is preferred in the UK, Australia, and most other English-speaking areas of the world. Neither abbreviation is correct or incorrect. You may hear arguments for one being superior to the other, and there are logical cases for both sides. One could argue maths is better because mathematics ends in S, and one could argue math is better because math mathematics is just a mass noun that happens to end in S. In any case, English usage is rarely guided by logic, and these usage idiosyncrasies are often arbitrary. There you go. According to every single grammar post on the matter, maths and math are both acceptable abbreviations. Every single one. You've, you've, you've reviewed all of them, water chart, just for this. Um, but yeah, like I, I, I thought it was going to be a localiz localization thing. Hmm, interesting. Multiple maths, yes, if one was enough. Well, Wikipedia says math, so that's correct. Uh, let me tell you something about Wikipedia. Any water on this one? Yes, lots. Yeah, exactly, just let me rewrite the Wikipedia article. The pelvis is a set of bones located in the human face. Octopunks or something. So what do you have? Octopi, octopodes, octopuses. Probably. I don't know why that's so disconcerting, the smiley face. It's really terrifying. Access is denied? How dare you. Did you just call me a sexist <laughs> It should be octopodes since the post comes from Greek. I think Gelmega, you're you're falling into that trap again where you just say one thing is correct when language isn't always logical. It was me, no you.
And no language is not lo logical, I speak Dutch, we have exceptions everywhere, even exceptions of exceptions. Octopedantic. <laughs> Sounds like Greek to me. How do you feel about that? Um, if you are Greek, so how do you feel about uh, that being used as gibberish? <laughs> oh, not the gnomes again. Thankfully Fletcher isn't here, so you can't freak out about it. Surprisingly, Dutch seems to dislike change since Middle Dutch texts, 1100 to 1500, are readable to modern Dutch speakers. You're really dropping. <laughs> oh, goodness me. <laughs> okay, so that's done, I think. Did I? Did I... Oh, there's water on this one, actually. It's point, it's point, goddess. Oh, actually, I should have edited the one map. Oh, I'm using the friggin' wand. <sighs> I miss that. <laughs> Is that from, like, uh, games done quick and stuff? Like, someone comes in. Probably started with the actual dev coming in, but... Kind of, someone took took it and ran with it, probably. Because I could totally see myself going into a stream where someone's playing my game and be like, I need this. Um, right, 28, which one did you want to edit here? Stupid sexy Flanders. Big streams, everyone just spams. I did this, yeah, but it has to have started somewhere, you know. Yeah, no, PNG has to be good, did not disappoint. Nice. <laughs> nice. I was wondering too, poor indie devs are a meme now. Uh, whenever streams uh, stream asks anything, beginning with who. <laughs> Sirens are here guys, don't worry. You did mess it up. The tentacle looks like it's going into my ear. I can't. I, I just can't get over Flanders. Like I just see Simpsons immediately. You read message. <laughs> 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 
the one with the ball. <laughs> oh, I love that one. <laughs> also, yeah, the fire one is great. <laughs> oh no, I missed the first bit. Life is pretty good right now. <laughs> oh, my goodness, I'm losing it. So good. Oh, who are we? Hmm. Hmm. Right, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Is that one objects too then? Awesome collision lane, that's why. I see now. I understand now. What the heck is this? That's a, you're subbed to that channel, aren't you? I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm never gonna, I'm never getting a normal job again, am I? Someone give me a sub. <laughs> from one channel because I got a tier 2 sub gift. A tier 2 sub gift, that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's uh, why don't you use procedural generation? Why don't you just go to heck? Procedural maps, procedural story, not that you that's true. That's true.
<laughs> you're done for a while. It was good. It was a good run. Truly grade A content. That's why we come here, etc. etc. Whew, that was that was good laughing. Now less fun, more work. Right? That's what we're here for. Misery. I made that content. <laughs> he said he was done, he wasn't done. It was good laughs. It was good laughs. Catch you soon, Tart. He made that audio content. He did. Well, he made the game, he made the stream. All right, so. Um, we need to do all these doors and jib. I think. What else? Make sure to check the fireplaces. But let's start in the lakes. Okay, so that was fine. A little script object here. If you think your work is misery, try implementing templates in a compiler like I'm doing here in heaven compared to me. Let's not gatekeep uh, boring work, but this isn't so bad. This isn't so bad. I'm not actually complaining. Compared to making memes out of my face. What's this? Nostalgic, nostalgic lo-fi hip-hop mix. There you go. Mm. Memes. I thought so. Looks like it should be. Type your door. You've got a column size. When you target underworld. Something. We'll figure that out. Issues with implementing it, it's just a perfect spot for gazillions of bugs. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Key field goes to northeast, northwest, southwest. Writes bad code, that's how you get ants. Because <laughs> bugs. King has only got southwest actually, so I've saved myself. One line. Unbelievable. Beep, beep, beep. Welcome back, Mr. Tart. figuring out how to simplify it as much as possible so I don't need a million lines of code. 
1 million lines of code. Don't you get paid by the line? I just ordered a takeout again. Forever a fat boy. So this you are you supposed to be cutting or whatever? I'm not keeping track of your current goals. Oops. Perma bulk man. That's where it's at. Since I'm Belgian, I'm just gonna eat some fries for dinner. What am I eating? Ooh, I'm not eating uh, Thai stir fry, which I'm going to make myself. Under, underworld. If someone lives in Belgium and don't eat fries at least once a month, they should just leave. So when you say fries, you mean like potato, like fries, like French fries, Belgian fries, I guess in your case, but just for the sake of simplicity. I didn't know that was like a Belgian specialty. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure and I was thinking of the right thing. Huh, I didn't know it was a big thing. I'm a, I'm a fan. I've been to Belgium, but I was a kid, so I don't remember. I don't know if I had it. Um, I think the most stereotypical Belgian dish is either fries and mussels or carb carbonat flamande. Stoufvelhes in Dutch. Mussels. Um, I thought waffles were the Belgian thing. And hello, Drake. Thank you for the welcome. How are you doing? Did you miss me?
<laughs> no, he didn't miss me. French invented waffles, we just improved them like we did with chocolate. Not sure we invented it. Look at the emoji. Did I say, did I say, did I phrase it like, are you doing all right or something? And you said no. Will you cap it? I don't know. I'm two hours in. I've got stream ring. Did you miss me? No, Christ. <laughs> I see what you mean. So you're, you're, you're trying to say no, but you're saying it through tears. Hate being awake during the day. Tart problems. Shortcut two. Seconds. So we go to. Sugar. How was Sweden cold? Uh, Sweden was roasting actually. Uh, good morning. Hey, Lurkin McClurkin, how you doing? Cool. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I'm kind of happy with it. So basically, this map, uh, this one here, I'm I'm going to like absolutely blast enemies like round about here. There's gonna be tons of them. So what I want you to do is I want you to take these little back passages so that you come out here. And then you can sneak, that's why I added this wall here, so you can sneak undetected around here, get the key. So I'm just going to have tons of enemies in the main path. Doable to, to run through, but difficult. Basically, I'm going to want you to avoid the enemies. <laughs> Thank you. 
Wait, what? Yeah, that one. Okay, so that one Let's go up. All right, that's wrong. So this means this is wrong as well. Just correct that to this, and then that goes to field. West, northeast. Okay. Unity just overwrote my scene file after an import. God bless K. Wow. Dropbox has saved my butt a couple of times. But yeah, stuff like that is pretty annoying. I can't believe I thought this was in the feast. Um, so this will be underworld, right?
commits really, really hard. It's like hitting Control S five times. I really, really, really want to save. You ever do a copy paste on a file after you save just in case? Well, like just make a make a copy of the file I just saved. It has happened, but it's very rare because sometimes, you know, sometimes you like accidentally erase everything in the file and then out of habit, save it and then you can't undo or something like that. I've had that happen like once or twice. So sometimes I've made copies of a file just to be super sure. Question, can we save scum fades awards? No, you cannot. There's no option to save, it's automatic. I hope that doesn't piss people off too much, but. There we go. I mean, it's everything's designed around that. So you don't lose much if you die or anything like that. Uh, and the decision is ma mainly made so that the decisions you make actually have some value. So you have to actually be careful about what you say and stuff. Specifically. Um, so I was working on a function since I thought I had less input than I thought, but it turns out there's a really useful line above the call site that has the additional info I need to make it easier on me. Huh, there you go. Good that you know that now. Done that in Photoshop, thankfully nothing as serious as a build. Yeah, that's good. That should be it. I just need to test them all basically, put them in. There we go. So I'm going to take a short break to kind of stretch and stuff like that. So you should do that too. Save scum and just refer to character deck. So you see how the decision turns out in the likes. There may be minor errors. Well, exactly. That's why I wanted to. I wanted you not to have the opportunity to do that. I wanted you to think about. Think about your decisions that you make. Um, not just be safe scumming to find out the best one. So anyway, going for a couple of minutes. See you soon.
already. These are exported now, so I need to just check that they've worked. So the save system, is it possible to trigger a save and quit anywhere or do you have to get certain points? It basically will save all the time. Like I'll try to be smart about it so it doesn't like, I don't think it should have major like performance um, implications, but basically like anytime you make a dialogue choice, anytime you go to a new map um, and then a couple of other triggers. That's the plan. So if effectively you're supposed to not have to think about the save system. Okay, good. I just find ones that you can only save in certain points I end up not playing as much. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. I don't like that. Them vectors. You love a vector. Vector? I hardly know her. Only because you're unsure if you continue will result in getting to a save point before you have to stop. Yeah, I feel what you mean. Alright, let's see if this works and if it looks good. And direction and magnitude, sign me up! It's not the C++ vector, it's the Lua vector. Of course we don't have the... Um, Oh yeah, it's a whole new tile set. This has been ages since we did this. Wow. Oh. Really? Wait, so they're not vectors? Block twenty. Okay, well, two of it now. Component cannot be found. Right, that's fair. Fair. I'm so used to my actual vectors being named vec two, vec three. this in the desktop because that's going to be easier, I think. I think I can do that. I'm not sure if they've bugged out though. Within that GLSL life. In my language, I also have a vector, but with a good name. So, din array, a dynamic array, which is a lot more meaningful. Do you have static arrays? Oh, sugar. Wait, no, that's right. Static arrays or normal arrays. Do 
some some of dynamic over here. Nineties R and B vibes. Hope that's a good thing. It's the end of those vibes. Got new vibes now. That's those. And then tile spawners, I think. Have fun, bye. See you later, Kayla. Thank you for suffering through all those ads. I really appreciate that. And it does make a lot of difference, so thank you very much for doing that. Hope you have an excellent day. Okay, that's all those done. Is that enough to get going? Uh, I need to add it to, yeah, I need to add it to the spawner as well, I think. Can I add two things at a time? No. Nice, we're in. I feel like this area definitely needs a particle effect. This is for later. of all battles. Food's here, nice. That didn't go to the right place. I wasn't even properly testing them, but yeah, that did not go to the correct place. That goes to... Feels like it. Well, did I just not export it or something? I don't know. Right, I was gonna. Okay, first of all, well, I remember I wanted to look up the. 
factory component because I don't know what dynamic loading means. Great Elder Scrolls music in the background, hell yeah. Very epic. It's more wind than it, yeah. Well, kind of. It's not the original. Factory. Well, then I don't think, what does that do? I should have uh, really read up on that because that's kind of useful. Do that for next time. Um, <clears throat> Checking the load and amplitude of checkbox and factory properties. The engine postpones the loading of resources associated with the factory. Something I still find funny about Skyrim, some people complain about the game and then compare new RPGs to it. You know what, I'll, I think I'll, I'm in that camp, because I think it does, it does, new games need to be compared to it, and it's a good game, and there's things to complain about. It's like, it's so many things at once. map spawner located because I feel like that taking a lot of time Can I get these warning messages though? Factories at least it doesn't seem to require factory factory uh, no, I mean this game object is in essence a factory fact. well no it's not, because it, it actually just holds them, so it's not a factory factory. Uh, okay, so I've added them, I need to, yeah, I need to verify that they all connect as they should. So this one connects, yeah, does it go back? I do. Shortcut three. Yeah, that just takes me back there. Did I just? I guess I haven't exported that. Can I go eat some dinner? See ya. All right, gel mega. See you later. Enjoy your dinner. Factory, factory reminds me of The Simpsons when Homer was driving a truck. Truck. <laughs> I don't remember that episode, but I like it. I like the sound of it. I want a truck truck. <laughs> that is a truck truck if I ever did see one. This worked already, we knew that, that's fine. What? Bart got, got his off a truck truck and Homer got his off a truck truck truck. 
<laughs> it's so silly, I love it. Any to southwest goes to shortcut to any. Connecting is the new developers, developers, developers. Oh, I remember developers, developers, developers. That was good. Old memes. You know if you say buffalo seven times it's a gra grammatically correct sentence i did know this and i like I actually worked it out in my head because it's like really hard to understand but i think i, I think i know so buffalo buffalo, buffalo. so there's one of them i never get so so buffalo is the place and then buffalo the animal buffalo the verb that's a that's two three and then Buffalo, the place, the animal. Yeah, actually I'm missing two of them. It's a place, an animal, and a thing. Yeah, I can only I can only get it to five. I can't remember it exactly, but yeah, I've heard that, and it's uh, pretty terrifying. Do you know, that's actually not the first time I've heard that, and it was in Twitch chat too, nice. And then here. Mm, so that one is not quite right still. message to Tachyon. Is that some kind of Star Trek reference? I need some more water. Nice. Good boy drinking is smart. High quality H two O. Drinking is smart, but it depends what you're drinking. Yeah, in there. That's a beast in gate. I like it. Like it's cocaine. Mm mm. Mm mm mm. That one's not working. So, oh wait, neither of them are interesting. Okay. Um. So that the gates and king basically. I was too was too tight.
a bot. Bot Baldur's Gate family. I bought one of those. Which one? I don't know. But the person said you really liked it. Uh, mm, I don't think so because I never played it. But I have bought it, just not played it. We should play together. Stream it. What did I buy? Let me check out. Oh. Oh uh, no, I bought I bought Baldur's Gate 2. Enhanced edition. It's co-op, yeah yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. Maybe I'm making that up, but I thought it was. Both to be fair, nice. Baldur's Gate is from the 90s. And wait, I'm from the 80s. <laughs> oh, you mean you, you doubt that it's got co-op? Well, it's the enhanced edition. Presumably they've added it or something? I don't know. I want to see most empty PC games had a tacked on co op multiplayer. Oh, wait, that's. Is that right or wrong? Oh, I know what's happened. So that's got a row size, that's why. behind a firewall. What a time to be alive. Well, but when did that come out though? Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition came out. So the original came out in 2000. Uh, the enhanced edition came out in 2013 so that's you know you'd kind of be like if they hadn't made a good multiplayer then you'd be you'd be like added in the enhanced condition. Well, that means I was right at least. Like what? Like. Notice the positioning of some of the stream elements changed, which is annoying, but otherwise, pretty funny, huh? Pretty funny. It's high quality content.
that's a tune. Right, so... So I love that, we've all said different things and we're all right. Remember the Masquerade Redemption had multiple attack on. What you should get is Divinity 2, then I can GM your game and kill your characters. Thank you, how about no? That's an RPG. Also, the game tact, I think. Divinity 2 is so good that the co-op doesn't work for me. It doesn't work for you, how come? Alright, what can we do in this time? Generic NPCs, in-game animations. Yeah, I can do that, actually. That's a pretty minor job. Didn't really sit tacted that bad. I just had to think of a tactful way to tell you. We added which ones were it? Those are always black screens after character creation. That is such a tease. Like you'll be so excited to start. Ah, oh, that sucks. Beep. So in terms of characters, this song's great. Uh, in terms of characters, we've got some new ones to add. I think I guess it's just four and five. Uh, Man for and woman for. This guy is Feb. This lady is April. Yeah. I gotcha. Mina friend actually did get it working, but he decided halfway through he wanted to change his class because he messed up his stats and never got it working again. Oh no. You couldn't even like roll it back. That's crazy. Like a nobleman turned skeleton, I love it. many games I need to actually play. I played like 30 minutes of Divinity 2. Yeah, and then you'll need to play Fates of Wart. Hoping to get at least 20 to 30 minutes of gameplay in that one. So if I'll reach 30. It'll be good. It'll be good. Many hours of fun. an RPG bender right now. Nice. What are you playing now?
I'll throw it on the pile, I'll take a ticket, though I'll warn you, it'll probably be 400 plus. <laughs> yeah, that's the sad thing when there's like, yeah, there's too many games for people to play. It's just good and bad, I guess. Finished Shadow on Returns, played some Elder Scrolls Arena. Ooh, how's that like? I haven't played... Wait, Elder Scrolls Arena, is that like one of the ancient ones? I want to play one of the old ones. Like, there's there's one I'm really curious about. Um, I think was like the biggest. It was the biggest game in terms of the world map. Uh, like, stupidly big and all procedurally generated. So it was super boring. Like that part, I'm not interested in. But apparently, like, it just seemed that the, um, the kind of the skill system was really interesting because you had like. I don't know, some, something about the, the abilities was really cool. Which one was that? It wasn't Daggerfall, was it? Daggerfall. Maybe it was Daggerfall. <clears throat> I don't know, it was just weird, like, you had, like, you could, like, ha have, like, businesses and stuff. Red card. And you had like nobility, like you could be like nobility scores in, in like how you talk to people and stuff like that. I don't know, it just seemed super interesting. Nice, okay, so that's done. And then the last thing we need to do is in the generic NPC. Red God was a 3D one that was a far cry from the best two or last two. Anyway, the one I'm thinking of was like stupidly enormous. Last two. thinking of like every time you have a conversation the relationship adds a couple of adjectives that tell you how the NPC feels about you and that can inform his dialogue. I'm really interested in doing something like that. Passive, arrogant, quiet, etc. Yeah, um, I feel like that's probably something that seems quite, it doesn't even seem that easy. It seems pretty complicated to be honest, but it, it's something that seems complicated and is probably 10 times more complicated than me actually attempt it. That's kind of what I'm suspecting there, but I'm really like really curious to do something like that, and I thought maybe it would be easier to do it non-verbally. So like a picture, uh, a picture of this like sci-fi game that we kind of talk about a little bit from here, like here and there. You'd have like relationships with other space travelers, but because it's like aliens and stuff, you don't actually understand each other. So they would just show you like kind of like a, a form of emoji, like they could do hearts if they liked you or um like angry faces if they hated you and that kind of stuff and then like add some nuance to that to make it more interesting but i don't know some something about non-verbal communication like that for some reason makes me think it's, it would be simpler but probably not even thing is people wouldn't nearly appreciate it enough unless the player knows you're getting these unique responses and stuff yeah that's true But you'd, you'd feel that you're getting unique responses, aren't you? If, you know, if it's, if it's actually behaving appropriately in response to your actions. Is the Barrage Police coming to take me away? Through. That's true. True, but do you ever get that thought when playing an RPG like, how much of this dialogue depended on my actions? Yeah, for sure. For sure.
Is the police take you away? Can I have your stuff? Yeah, just come collect. Bloodline does it so well. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I've got such a massive respect for game writers and stuff. All the different clans have completely different dialogue options and changes the way NPCs talk to you. I, yeah, I'm in awe. I'm in awestruck. My awe has been struck. Um, okay, so I need to wrap it up now. I need to go to the gym. So uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. At a similar time. So I hope to catch you then. Massive thanks to Kayla for all them bits. And Wobbly Trout for rating. That was cool. And thank you to everyone else for hanging out and making this a fun experience. Um, so if you're around tomorrow, I'd love to see you then. If not, whenever I see you, it will be nice. That was a loud bang. Ticket to the gun show. I need to I need to uh, improve my guns. Uh, thanks for streaming. See ya. Right. See you later, Tart. See ya, Drake. Have a good one.